it's Tanya and I'm here with the weekly sketch inspiration and you can see the sketch on the top right there and I am using the October Hip Kit Club kits and I am playing with these wooden leaves that we got. They are exclusive to the kit. I think they came in either the embellishment or the pocket life kit and they are actually so pretty. And as you can see, I am, oh God, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I'm embossing them. I actually think that my heat tool is a little too hot because I think I was kind of burning the embossing powder rather than uh, melting it, but it's okay. They work out in the end and I've got some Oh, embossing ink there. It's quite old, but it seems to seems to be working. And I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, the, they're incredibly thin. These little these little wooden leaves. So uh, you want to treat them a little bit carefully because otherwise they do break a bit. So there we go. And I don't think I show you that I heat emboss all of them. When I've got my tweezers, and I'm just, or maybe I do. Okay. Well, anyway. It worked really, really well, so if you like this idea, you should give it a try. Actually, heat embossing is fascinating stuff. <laughs> I haven't done it for ages, and I keep forgetting how much fun it is to watch to watch the powder melt. Ah, it's just magical. So there we go. I took half of the leaves and I embossed them with that. It's, oh, I can't remember where I got the embossing powder from. I've had it for years. And I'm gonna take the Shimmers Lovely Goldy Yellow paint that we got in the color add-on, and I'm gonna paint over them. So now they have the texture of the embossing paste as well as the shine of this Shimmers. It's gorgeous. It has a really beautiful shine to it and a lovely goldy color. So that worked really well. So now I'm very, very chuffed with myself. And I'm thinking, wow, let's carry on. Let's take these others. And I'm going to take the the spray that came in the color add-on. And I'm just going to spray the leaves. And they, I was a little worried they might be a bit pink, but they don't actually. They dry to quite a nice, oh, oh and I'm mopping up. Look at that. Ah, clever girl, mopping up the rest of the paint so as not to waste it. And you will see some of those leaves are curling, but if you place something heavy, I just took one of my Jane Davenport uh, large journals and I just plonked it on top and they flatten fine. See, I'm trying to flatten it there, but uh, yeah, totally fine. And I'm using this paper as my background. It comes from the Pinkfresh Studio Escape from the Ordinary collection and I just love it and I thought well you know I actually got this idea I was lying in bed in the wee hours of the morning. That's something I seem to get my best ideas <laughs> when I can't sleep. So yeah I've got these photographs. They're ground squirrels which we saw in the Khalakhari and they are so cute. Um, they were friends with the meerkats as I mentioned in one of my other videos and yeah I just thought it went so well the colors went well and I was really chuffed with my leaves and I knew that there were other leaves in the the puffy stickers and the die cuts so I'm going to add those in as well and I just wanted to bring in some of the color down below with that little my solitary little ground squirrel and his little uh, he was leaping across the road <laughs> captured in motion. There we go. <laughs> and I'm just showing you that I glued them all down. I have Tombow Mono, Tombo Mono Multi Glue in that fine liner bottle. And yeah, I would have used my glue gun, but uh, it's not cooperating with me at the moment, which is a bit unfortunate because I love that thing. But uh, there, it seems the glue seemed to be fine. They, they stuck, they stuck relatively well. So here we go. Now I'm bringing in some of the puffy sticker leaves. And then I'm going to find some of the, oh, more puffy. There we go. Look at that. Uh, I think I then get, yeah, some of the die cuts because I know they're leaves in there. So I'm adding those in as well and just having a, a wonderful time. So I haven't actually asked in ages how you all are. I hope you are well. I, uh, life, life got very, very interesting this side of the world, as you may know. My mom has not been well and uh, in fact she's been really 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 ill and it's been very scary and stressful um, and it's not over yet so we are now waiting for some results and but she has been allowed to go home so that is at least one thing she has been in and out of hospital for the last three months now and it's enough you know so 
she's at home and hopefully the test results will be fine and she can you know get on the road to recovery so there we go enough about that i'm going to show you what i'm going to do here because i was really quite chuffed with this as well so i sprayed the memories these are dear lizzie gigantic words that we got in the kit uh they're from her new collection stargazer and they're fantastic for titles and yeah i really love how this turned out because that shimmers goldy color and i really should remember what the name of it is but oh, you can check the website it'll have the details there it just it just mixed so well and yeah oh, what can i say i just thought i was ever so clever doing that but when i put it near i was going to have it in the middle of my layout but it, because of all the leaves, it just blended in and you couldn't see it very well. So fortunately, ATG glue comes off very easily. So I could move my little ground squirrel up and have the memories there in all its glory so that you can see it because I wasn't going to waste all that effort in coloring it and then not using it. And yeah, I found those leaves. I didn't realize I still had that. Those are chipboard and it just went so well underneath there. It just tied in the leaves, you know, with the, with the leaves around the main photograph. So yeah, ah, it just, it was like the stars aligning with this layout. You know how that sometimes happens when it just all goes right. <laughs> sometimes it can go horribly, horribly wrong. But this time ah, it just went so well and I was just, ah super happy with how it came out and yeah so I'm going to make my title we made fantastic memories because we did you know there, there were some interesting moments and oh can't remember when this one goes up whether whether the the hectic adventure I've told you about or not but uh, if I haven't it's coming up and yeah so yeah, I'm now thinking, am I going to put that fantastic on that little off cut that I had from the 3x4 card that I used to mat the little lone ground squirrel in action? Um, but then I thought, yes, okay, I'm going to, because it's going to bring in a little bit of the, the mustard color down below. And so I'm just going to cut. And I almost left the, the little greeny color, but then there was too much of it because it's very similar color to the letters. So that's why I chopped that off. And there we go. You've got to make sure that the letters are moderately straight. <laughs> and that's why I bring out my T-square <laughs> ruler, just to make sure that I get that all relatively neatly. I'm not too fussed, but I do like it to look moderately straight. So there we go, happy with that. And then just bringing in a little bit. Those are uh, the canvas, canvas uh, pieces that came with this collection. And yeah, I was going to use that chipboard camera, but then realized that the puffy one works so much better. So I stuck it down there. And then I had a few more things in, but I think my camera stopped recording or something. So. Ah, that's right, yes, I put some stars on because I wanted to bring in the blue from the We Made up at the top. And you'll see in the stills there's a few little extras added in. So I hope you enjoyed this. I do hope you'll check the kits out and check out the Facebook forum and come and join us in uh, with the weekly sketch challenge. There's $10. Oh, sorry, $10 coupon code is up for grabs. So chat again soon. Bye-bye.